Hey guys, so today we will be looking at the toolbox that I recently got a couple weeks ago. Been meaning to make a video about this, and I kind of wanted to use it a bit before I, you know, talked about it because, you know, what what's the point if you have no experience? You know, the only difference between me and you is that I have one in front of me. Um, so I'll start off by saying where I got it. I got this at Sears, and I paid about 350 bucks for it, which I think is... You know, compared to other things on the market, that's not bad. Um, it had essentially everything that I wanted. It was a bit bigger than I wanted, but hey, you know what? Oh, geez, it's just so horrible to get something that's a little bit bigger. But regardless of the fact, it has a ton of drawer space, which is one of the things that I really wanted. A lot of the toolboxes you see will have, like, one small drawer, you know, one medium-sized drawer, and then one really big drawer, and then that's just it, and that's kind of bad you 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 want to try to get as many drawers as possible and i think this does a really good job um and i will also start by saying that i really like this toolbox overall i you know i haven't had it for a whole long time but it seems like you know for the amount of money that i paid for it that it's you know all right quality i don't think any of the drawers are going to break or anything like that it's not that cheesy um i did have one problem with it which i will mention real quickly and that's the locking mechanism. This was dropped, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But uh, before, when you you'd lock it, you know, it's locked, and you go to unlock it, and the drawers on the left side would open, but the drawers on the right side would stay locked. And essentially what I did to fix this was I put a piece of foam up underneath inside on the mechanism and it basically tilted it a little bit so that the right side drawers would open um it wasn't a huge deal but you know it's kind of irritating to buy something that's brand new and have to fix it immediately out of the box but like i said that might not be a quality issue that could be a it was drop issue now it wasn't dented or anything but you know i don't know um so i guess to start off with uh i mentioned the drawers I did not mention that they are also padded. Um, the foam pads that it comes with are not great. They're like um, kind of the stuff that you'd put like under like a mat on like hardwood floors. They're that kind of stuff. So not particularly amazing, but they're not terrible either. Um, and I find myself, you know, they, they do work. You know, they keep, you know, your, your you know, especially like pneumatic tools that are all metal from, you know, hitting up against the steel and scratching um, the steel or the tools, so that, uh, you know, close enough. Um, on the top, real quickly, before I get too distracted, it does have a r nice rubber mat, which I do like quite a lot because, as yesterday, I was working on my transmission. You can see there's kind of some fluid left on there, but I can just take this mat off. You know, it's rubber. I can just wash it, you know, clean it off, clean all the dirt, all that sort of crap off of it, which I have been doing a couple times. You know, I've tried to keep it clean. It's a nice, good-sized workspace. So, yeah. All right, so I guess what I'll move on from there is I do like the finish, all that stuff. I'll move on to what I actually have in it um, or, or what I put in it. You guys have already seen the first drawer. I've basically just populated this with big stuff. Um, my breaker bar, pneumatic tools, um, this is temporary, the grinder bits, um, I have all the, the lathe tooling over here to the right, all the boring bars, um, carbide cutters, uh, I had some tape and stuff in there, eh, general stuff. Next drawer down, all the, uh, sockets, um, I mean, generally that's just one of the things that I use a lot when I'm working on my car or whatever, so keep those out. Um, I haven't really put much in this, I just shoved the torque wrenches in there. All the hammers, um, I've got a couple more, but you know, as of now, uh, I like the fact that they, there are plenty of drawers where I can move this stuff around in. And, uh, of course, some of the wrenches. Uh, now, at some point, I plan on making a project video where I actually laser cut some foam, or maybe some styrofoam or something, um, that... All the wrenches have a, you know, a specific place, you know, the, the sizes are marked, that sort of stuff. Uh, but I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Uh, second to last drawer, I uh, got the dial indicator, uh, sandpaper, car wax, you know, that kind of stuff. Last drawer, I've got the uh, lathe chuck, my jigsaw, my uh, pneumatic sander here. It's kind of a bigger thing. Dremel stuff, 
stuff that I don't use that often, but you know, I still want to have in here. You guys over here, top drawer on the right. And by the way, I really like these size drawers. Um, I don't know why, but these seem to be perfect. I have all the zip ties, uh, taps, dies, that sort of stuff in here. Moving down, I've uh, populated all of this with pliers, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, all the drill bits, uh, I got some wire wheels, uh, Allen wrenches, all the misfit drill bits, which I like to keep around. I like to keep a bunch of old drill bits around. You know, you never know when you need to abuse a drill bit. Um, files, that kind of stuff. And then I have essentially populated this drawer with all screwdrivers, driver, uh, like bits. I have uh, one of these. They're pretty crappy, but you know, the uh, like the $10 horrible freight sets that uh, come apart when you open them. Uh, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, Seems to be, I, I mean, at least I, this isn't really a tool review, but I find this kind of stuff useful. Um, and I like, again, I like these size drawers because you can, you know, put all of your screwdrivers and stuff in one drawer. And it's not too big. You don't feel like there's a ton of wasted space, or at least I don't. Um, and in the very bottom drawer, I have the propane torch, uh, the regulator and stuff for the bigger torch, and as of now, gloves. But uh, that's about it. The whole thing is on wheels, and it is really, really heavy. Um, but it does have a handle, so I'm going to leave you guys up there. Um, it's on casters. I can complain a lot about the casters, but I'm not going to. They're, you know, perfectly adequate for something that costs 350 bucks. This isn't, you know, going to be wheeled around a lot. It's basically just living in one place. and. I'm only going to really be wheeling around when I'm working on the car, um, and even so. But they are all plastic. I'll go ahead and give you guys a better look of that. They are completely plastic, unfortunately, but, you know, these could be switched out. These are basically, you know, your horrible freight quality, and that's about it. Uh, they do lock, but I found that the uh, the locking mechanism is a bit of a pain. Although, it's not nearly as bad as the locking mechanism on some casters that I've seen. It works, could be better. Um, I think that's probably about it. Uh, the drawers are fairly easy to remove. I don't have any completely empty drawers, so I, I'm not gonna remove any of the drawers, but essentially you have these white tabs on either side, and uh, you push those down, you slide the drawer out. It's not that difficult to do. Um, I think that probably covers everything. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a very nice day.